your team's a little healthier with uh, Ryan coming back off of the reserve list on Saturday, but you still have uh, Nate and Ben there. Are you hopeful that they can, considering where they were before they went on the reserve list, how hopeful are you of getting them back at some point this week and being able to help you Sunday? Very hopeful. You know, I would anticipate those guys uh, having a few days of practice before they play in a football game. Pleasantberry locked up right tackle. Uh, you know, that's quiz will probably work there. He's going to have to know, um, you know, play play all four spots for us, both guards and the tackle. But, you know, I mean, I think, um, you know, we'll see how that thing plays out throughout the week. You know, I think Kendall will will have opportunities. Ty will have opportunities. But, you know, not really ready to, to name a, a starter. You know, I think all, all those guys are going to play probably in the game for us. But, um, you know, quiz has been out there. He's been... Um, very efficient, and he's been been available and been durable. So, you know, we've got some guys coming back. You know, that may change today based on Ben's and, and Nate's availability not being here, uh, and then that may look different towards the end of the week too. You all have voted on team captains yet? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Did you think that you would be less concerned about COVID? You know this year uh, as opposed to last? I mean, does it surprise you that still, even after the vaccination and so forth, that you know guys are going? I would say that nothing would surprise me. I think that, um, you know, we, we just have to kind of everybody, whether it's the league, whether it's your family, my family, you know, we, we all have to just understand that, you know, we're going to deal with some things. We're going to deal with, you know, positive test results from vaccinated people. We'll follow the protocols um, how we have to and, you know, try to be um, as safe as we possibly can. Before you guys had that extended break, I mean, do you sit the guys down and, hey, let's be extra cautious, maybe not go back to your school for the, for games or anything like that? Uh, I think we're always just trying to be smart on what we do. Um, you know, judging from the games that I watched, I didn't, you know, see that COVID was – was much of a concern for anybody, but uh, we have to be smart in, in the decisions that we make, uh, whether that's you know who we hang out with, what we do, um, and, I, and I think that they, you know, are very conscious of that. What's be, what this be, how much different I guess feel in the building once regular season week kind of kicks off compared to what it's like, you know, throughout in June and maybe through all. Well, we're we're at that stage where we're preparing to win. You know, we've we've been through the training camp the. You know, we talked about the foundation that you try to build and, you know, developing roles and, and, and establishing roles on this football team. And, you know, I think now we're at the time where you have to prepare to win. There's a specific opponent with, with, with players that, you know, have a certain skill set, that have a play style. You know, we're putting a plan in. They're putting a plan in as well. Um, you know, so that's where we're at now. And so hopefully we can come out here with some with some energy and focus and, and have all those details now um, transfer uh, to an opponent. Overall, with, the, with your rookie class, do you feel a difference kind of in readiness after they have a full off season, full training camp and so forth compared to, compared to last year? I mean, I think that some of those guys have, have improved and will continue to prove and, and help us in, in certain ways. And you know, those are some of those guys that are trying to find and identify you know, what their role is and how they're going to help us on the football team. How much have you looked at Arizona so far and the fact that they're a team you face every four years or whatever as opposed to like a division opponent, have you done more at this point? Well, as much as you could do based on, it. you know, last year, I mean, they're going to, they have a certain style and they have a, you know, very unique quarterback um, that's unbelievably effective in operating, um, you know, what Cliff wants to do offensively and, and their style of play. So, you know, again, there, there's going to be a lot of things that come up in, in week one, you know, that we won't have, you know, seen. You know, there'll be new things that we're going to have to be ready to keep our composure and uh, communicate, get lined up, execute, you know, play with great effort, all those things that we talk about, um, you know, because they're going to have things that, you know, they'll, they'll show on, on Sunday that we won't have seen. As you get Tannehill back and now having Julio Jones in practice, is it going to kind of be a point of emphasis for you to make sure that these guys get those reps, to get that chemistry and that timing down on the field? Well, I mean, I think that goes without saying. Like, that's – I don't think I'll have to say too much of it. You know I mean? Ryan's going to have to, you know, 
build a relationship with him on the football field. They've they've met and extensively, and we you know we've 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 talked about it. Um, now we have to go out and you know operate on the practice field and prepare um, you know for some of the stuff that we'll see on Sunday. I guess more specifically, what I could what you suggest to them, hey. Let's get I, extra I, I, work. Would, I would highly doubt that you know. I mean that that I would have to. I'm going to evaluate what 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 we're what we're seeing on the practice field and what it looks like, uh, and what the timing of those routes look like, and uh, being at a place where the quarterback uh, wants them. Was it a bad thing that Bayard made all the tackles he did last year? I mean, ideally, should should a linebacker be be making the most tackles on this team? You think? I mean, I think there's a lot of teams. I mean, Arizona has a unbelievable player that that made uh, that led their their team and in, in tackles as well um, you know I don't know I mean again we just you know you got to try to get as many guys to the football as you possibly can um, you know I know Kevin played I would imagine every snap for us but you know as long as somebody's making them short of the first down marker that's really all I care about Back when it comes to deciding how much distance to give on the line of scrimmage off press coverage, how much is the, of that is is his decision on a given play? How much of that is talks that have got into it during the week? Well, I think you have to you know continue to mix it up. I mean, if you want to go out there and press Hopkins every play, it's just going to be a fade fest, and you know you you have to sit there and take your chances because that's what it's going to be. So, you know, there's certainly uh, some conversations about uh, who that player is. You know what your skill set is, um, and, and there is discussions about you know playing up. Yeah, I mean third third and five. If if we call man coverage, you know, and they're bunched up, you know, you can't press all three guys, right? So you have to be able to to level it off. However, you're going to handle that combination route, um, you know, and then be ready to to trigger once those things declare. But but it's, if you're just talking about a single receiver. You know, it's it's where's my help at in the defense? Um, how do I want to mix it up? Is this an RPO team? You know, there's a lot of different things that go into it. Is it necessarily unaggressive, I guess, if you line up off coverage, maybe on third down? Well, I mean, only if you back up beyond the sticks and they catch it at the sticks. Yeah, certainly. You know, I mean, I think that there's some things that, you know, you watch some guys, you know, flat-footed at, you know, seven yards and try to play square and, you know, you know, if guys are backing up into the end zone. That would certainly not be anything that we coach, um, or uh, backing up. You know, giving you know a cushion on third and six without some sort of traffic conflict. Yeah. Several of your defensive players have talked about how much better their communication is, how much more confident they're playing with the swagger, things like that. After watching them in training camp in the preseason, how excited are you to see these adjustments on the field in the regular season? I mean, I think that they have built an energy and they've had they've been excited about playing defensive football how we expect and you know, communication, you know, you have to know what you're talking about. You know, there's certain things that I certainly wouldn't be able to communicate because I'm really not, you know, up to date on cer certain things, certain topics outside of, of football. You know, I wouldn't be able to communicate on them. So, they have to get to the level of understanding the details and the concepts to be able to communicate um Somebody's got to be able to get a call and, and, and somebody's got to give a call so that everybody, you know, lines move in the same direction. You're working with a, a defensive lineman on a stunt. Those are all things that are critical. But I do like that there's an energy, you know, and an excitement of, of about playing uh, football, you know, defensive football. And, that, you know, we saw that, um, I would say, most of the time in the preseason games that we had. There were a few drives in there that, you know, weren't what we were looking for. You've got some new core veteran special teamers, obviously some new youth in the mix. So what are your expectations for special teams in terms of, of, of increases? And where do we want to improve? I think we, we expect that we make our kicks. I expect that we cover kickoffs with speed and aggressiveness. Uh, I expect that we give our returners, that we protect our returners enough to block you know, block them and, and allow them opportunities to, to make yards, feel the, feel the punt, um, you know, all those types of things that were sound. You know, I think for, for week one is certainly something that's critical about, you know, penalties and, and missed assignments and making sure that we're sound and, 
you know, aware of what's going on, whether there's a fake opportunity or, um, you know, they're going to pressure. You know, they blocked the punt last year in, in week one. San Fran was up, you know, 10 you know, midway through the first quarter. And, and it really changed the, 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 the complexity of that game by, by them blocking that, that punt, um, you know, backed up and gave their offense a short field. So, you know, that'll be a huge key for us. Mike, you'd mentioned um, uh, the, the rookies just improving throughout the you know course of you know preseason, whatnot, with, with training camp, uh, you know the offseason program, whatnot. Um, with those second year guys, the ones who didn't have that full offseason mm -hmm. program last year, did you see um, just kind of generally things yeah. start to click with them, like guys like Christian Tier right. um, yep. this year? Those were the you know, and I'm with you. Those were the probably the, the names that came to mind, you know, as you were you know asking the question. But those guys are, you know, they're going to be starters for us on on Sunday, and uh, you know they have to, you know, take the work that they put in, you know, all the stuff that they did in training camp, uh, the corrections, the improvement, and now have to go out and and do it, you know, in the regular season, um, you know, consistently for us. What's been your impression of guys coming off of COVID? You know, if it's ten days, eleven days, nine days. Does it take a few days to get back in the, you know, conditioning wise or, or, you know, has it differed for every guy or? Well, we really haven't. Um, I can only speak on the past and probably let you know about, you know, today. But, um, yeah, I mean, it probably took some guys last year. I mean, it, I don't, you know, I don't remember it being an issue. You know, we're not going to, we're not going to clear somebody until we feel like, you know, they can go out there and, and do their job and, and, and do it, um, you know, in a manner which we, we expect and also for them to, you know, to be able to function. So I don't, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't clear anybody that we didn't feel like, you know, was ready to come back. Guys, though, when they're, when they're home, quarantined, whatever, they do something physical to keep themselves at least semi-active, don't they? Don't they? Well, I'm sure. I mean, I think, again, that would be a question for them. That's not something that I'm, you know, monitoring. Um, you know, they check in with us. I check in with them. Um, but I would imagine that they're doing something. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Thanks, Mike. Qu quick. After two, you're late, and then I'm going to ask another question. <laughs> okay, Tron, go ahead. A uh, quick question in regards to uh, David Patton, one of your teammates. Oh, uh, obviously, you know, he, he passed away. Uh -huh. uh, any words you have for uh, Just an incredibly tough. You know, he's a man of God. Um, very, very quiet demeanor, but but made huge catches for us. Was like the you know just the mighty mouse, and uh, you know real shocking to see that the other day. My thoughts are with his family, obviously um, the, those people that he left behind. You spoke of Fulton there as a starter. Where where does Caleb fit in in, in your vision at the start? Uh, just trying to work his way into the, trying to be one of those guys that develops a role, you know, for us on this football team. So, you know, I think when that when that happens, or when we feel like, you know, he's done that, you know, that that'll that'll show, and he's he's working. And again, we've added increased his reps, you know, throughout training camp and throughout the preseason games, um, you know. So we'll see where that is this week after a few days off, and and how he responds and, and what he looks like.